Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Earthbound. You're here with Randall Lafitte, otherwise known as Drax Craven, when he's staying up late. No drinking today, but I have stayed up late. Oh, you surprised me. You're nice, aren't you? Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Number one, how do you know that? You haven't seen him for years. Number two, why would you tell someone that? Also, why does that mean he's a bad boy? He's nervous. He's got anxiety. Jeez, take care of yourself. And Jeff, the bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call the area the Rainy Circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh, huh, I understand. While you're checking out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes, my co-worker Bigfoot dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. I assume this is Bigfoot. May I help you? Waka Ungawa. What would you like? Beef jerky? Bottle of deluxe water? It's, it's just water. What? Why does it cost $198? What minerals are in this water? Platinum? Uh, I will take some beef jerky, though. Wongadin? Spungawa Gunga. Thank you very much. Bigfoot's a pretty cool guy. I don't know what he's going to do with this currency. Obtain some type of meat, slice it into pieces about half an inch thick. Hang the pieces on a laundry line or something like it, and leave it out in the sun for maybe six months. Well, that's what my recipe says. When eaten, you recover about 150 health. Damn, Bigfoot. Thanks, man. It's worth 70 bucks. It's worth twice its price and... In uh, hit points. Still no way into the uh, Stonehenge thing. There's still a. Uh, oh no! Come on! I wanna I wanna explore around here a little bit. There's still an, er an eraser-shaped statue in the way, so there's nothing I can do about that. There we are. New monsters. Crocodiles. Uh, once again, Paula is low leveled. Not under leveled, but low leveled. It's okay. These things happen. The strong crocodile. Still susceptible to freeze. Still not very dangerous. And then again, he hits hard. I say that about a lot of enemies. It's like, oh, he hits really hard. But like, I don't know what it is about accuracy in this game, but so many creatures are so likely to miss. It's... I don't want to say it's... Ooh. Oh! I mean, like, between edging... So most enemies have uh, abilities that waste their attack, and then most of the time they don't even hit. Um, I don't know exactly why that is. Because, I guess it's mostly because this game isn't supposed to be hard. It's just supposed to be fun. The Elder Baddie. Not your regular baddie. Darn it. Ooh, these guys are tough. Oh no! Became a pile of fluff! My teddy bears! I will avenge you. Get wrecked. I gotta go get more teddy bears. In any event, now that we have Ness in the party, you finally got here. This monster will fight us. This is the fourth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Shrooms! Spy on it. As I recall, the shroom is uh, vulnerable to fire, but uh, also like, no, okay. That was the least dangerous target. You know what? Let's let's go for the instant KO. Just because I love it. Uh, but I prefer to use freeze just because it deals more damage to a single target. Well, Shroom couldn't stop crying. Useful? Sort of. I don't know if Shroom can physically attack. I think it just sort of mushroomizes the party and let's 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 Ness and Co kill each other. Oh god. You know what? I'm just going to hope that we can beat it before 
Jeff dies of poison. That's what I'm going for. Oh! Oh! Uh. Base race. Base race. I'll beat you in this base race. No! Life is suffering. All right. Uh, nope. I, do I have some life noodles? I do have some life noodles rolling around. Uh, did I push this beast too far? I think I may have. Do you have anything cool? I kind of want to use the socks, but I don't want to accidentally use them. Unlike Ness. Oh no! Jeff doesn't have PSI and therefore does not ever have to concentrate. Sad state of affairs. Oh, he was so close to death. I used the life noodles because I wanted Paula to get the XP. That's what I'm going to keep telling myself. I did it for a very good reason. I'm not bad. You're bad. Awesome. Awesome. Very powerful level ups. I approve. Now let's go have a rendezvous with the Milky Well. I'm sorry, the Rainy Circle before Jeff wanders away and dies of poison. Ness cut a whiff of cereal, just for a second. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Rainy Circle. Oh, I love all those little moments! We still haven't gotten to my favorite one yet, though. Anyway. Does Paula have any junk? Oh, Paula's got a lot of junk. Most of it's not, like, bad, though. Except for that great charm. Kinda wanna get rid of that soon. I'm certain I'll... F oh, God. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, get out of here, cave boy. Mighty Bear 7? Why is it... Why is that number significant? Even I don't know. Nice try. Yeah, the cave boys would have really wrecked Jeff the first time through here, but uh, we're just way more... We're way too strong now. Oh, darn it. Eh, go crazy. Oh, God. Shouted in a loud voice. They also have, like, an incredible amount of health, even if they can't really dish out any damage. The cave boys, I mean. The Mighty Bear 7 can do plenty of damage enough. They do have claws and stuff. Maybe the cave boys don't really want to kill anyone. You know, they're just playing rough. Still. I like how you don't have the option to use the machine. It's just like, you use it. Oh, Ness. Jeff wets his bed sometimes. Other than that, he's a good boy. Why did you bring that up again? Looks like you found something out. I finished remodeling the Skyrunner. You can leave for summers whenever you wish. You shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. Promising. I mean, when has Dr. Andernus failed us in the past? Except for, like, in every conceivable way. You know, raising his son, doing just about anything. Oh yeah, heads up. I should have mentioned this. If you hit end in that conversation, it freezes the game. The whole game. Just gets frozen. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, your only way out is to turn the game off or reset it. So, be careful when you hit that. Uh, 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 away we go. To a summary location. Do, don't think too hard about the geography of this planet. Uh, cause, so, we've got, so... When we went from Winters to Foreside, uh... Foreside was on the east coast of a continent. We came at it from the east, not from the north. And yet, we come into summers from the east. Did I just get a Facebook boop? But I don't have my Facebook. Is that the zombie lady? Sorry. I d I'm going to distract you from my bad video quality by pointing out uh, bizarre coincidences. Or more like reusing sprites. Ah, who's...
didn't see this coming. No problem here. Just some wreckage all over the place. Welcome to Summers, home of yuppies. You look so serious. You're in Summers, a dream paradise. Relax and have some fun. Uh, I guess I could be afforded to have some fun. I'm just trying to take a nap in the shade. Please don't bother me. You got it. I'm going to walk all across the beach and talk to everybody. I wonder why such serious looking kids as you would come to this resort town. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere. Jeez, do any of you guys care that the world is in peril? No, you guys just care about yourselves. So selfish. The guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. Wake up in the morning, fall in love. Eat lunch, fall in love. And at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. Well, quit being a creep. Step one, quit being a creep. Hmm. Don't talk to me. My mind's a complete blank. Hmm. I wonder exactly what it is that happened to her. Are you from Eagleland? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. You should travel across the sea to Scaraba from Toto, the port town. Hmm. We got some really spectacular things. What would you like? You have gelato to resort. I'll take some gelato to resort. I don't even know what it is. Presumably a food item. Nope. Ice cream that is all the rage among fashionable young women. When eating, you recover about 30 hit points. 30 hit points? What? What a piece of junk! I... I should know how much that heals, but I don't. Because I never bought it. Because I thought it was crap. And here I am, I'm like, oh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do it right for the camera, say Fuzzy Pickles. I'm gonna do it right for the video camera and let everyone know that, you know what? Maybe, maybe the ice cream isn't so bad. And I'm over... It's awful. And it's a bread roll. It's a bread roll that costs 49 bucks. I hate this place. Only a tanning pro like me is able to get an actual suntan on the palm of his hands. <laughs> You know someone had fun with that sprite. He just looked at the sprite and was like, all right, why is he doing that? Screw it. Let's make a joke about it. Hey, man, what's up? East of here is the port town of Toto. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not a billboard. Oh, what? To go to Scaraba, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named the Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? Um, not really. I assume I would be able to defeat the Kraken. Across the sea, there's a town called Scaraba. It's a mysterious town. A dream town, really. All right. I I love... Uh, one thing that I do love about this game is, like, the passion and conviction that almost every character speaks with. They're all, like, uh, very open about their feelings and what what's going on in their lives, and I really, really respect that. Trust me, we will need that much money. Things are expensive down there. So the equipment we can purchase here is useful, but not as good as what we can purchase in town. That being said, it's far cheaper. Point being, keep your equipment up to date. It's important, it's good for you. I'm a grave robber. I was scared of the pyramid in Scaraba though, so I didn't go in. But I tell people that I saw mummy type monsters with my very own eyes. So are you saying that you're lying or that you saw those monsters and they're what made it so you don't didn't go into the pyramid. I don't know. You know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I warn you though, it's a strange place. Thanks, man. I don't know what I need with that. Uh, Hello, uh, Jeff? Oh, happy day. I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jeff, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players, like you. Uh, no, you with the controller. Would you register your name, please? N don't spell your name wrong. Uh. Yeah, sure. Y'all know my name. It's right on the front of the channel. Rain of the Thief. You know what? We're going. We're going all the way. No, oh, no. I think I have enough room for all this. Put my middle name in there too. 
exclusive content. Oh, man. Check it. Now only, now only the Earthbound people know about my middle name. Oh, yeah. Oh, just enough room! Fantastic. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Reynold Joffrey Lefebvre. Yep, that's it. Okay, also, thank you, Shikisato Itoi, for saying okay, Scott. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. We'll talk to you later, Jeff. Uh, hope that I see you again when you're feeling up to it. Uh, from T-O-N-Y. <laughs> you got that? Uh, I've been on the phone too long. Uh, I gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. Okay, this time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. I think Tony likes Jeff. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, cat. I don't want to go out to sea because of the Kraken. I mean, any normal person would feel the same way. Normal person? Yes, I'm hardly normal. I'm a psychic child who's been tasked with saving the Earth. I wouldn't call that normal. Dinosaurs existed. I saw one. It had been out of the underground when it dried out. Of course it was dead. Believe what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Oh. Now brown cow? What? If you come closer, I'll play the trumpet. I don't know how to play yet. <laughs> this is like the zone of sprites where they were like, how oh, right, let's just make a joke about the sprite. So many cats in, in Toto. You like a boat ride? I would. Well, I don't feel like sending a ship out. I'm worried about my wife. I'm not afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring her magic cake business. These days she spends her time hanging out in a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interests to discuss. Is our relationship over? Is this a kid's game? It's just like, I, just, I don't know, man. We just don't talk anymore. Can we go on an adventure? No, but like me and my wife, though. But adventure. <sighs> All right. Uh, he mentioned the Stoic Club. Oh, I did get that secret phone number, so I'll call ahead and uh, get a reservation, I guess. I guess that, that is what it would be, right? I don't know. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Ness, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. Looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Click. Payphones. What a bygone invention. Brilliant for the time, but sadly fallen into repose. So that's the hospital. Another nice day. Summer's always has sunny days. How boring. Uh, oh, oh, hey, hello there. This is a madcap. It's a mad taxi. Smash it. A museum? If you're bored, go check out the Scarabba Cultural Museum. It may be helpful to you. They have a hieroglyph from the pyramid. Oh, I should check that out. But before I do that, I do want to stop at the shop. Because it's shopping time. I just want to show off these prices. Diamond band for $9,998. Platinum? Nope. We're going straight to diamond. Also, Lucky Coin, Chef's Fry Pan, Big League Bat. I'm going to buy all this stuff off screen between this episode and next episode. So if you liked what you saw, then hit subscribe. And if you, I mean, if you want to keep watching, then you hit subscribe. And if you like what you saw, you hit like. And then if you want to talk about how, oh, uh, what was I complaining about earlier? I don't even remember. If you want to, if you want to talk about how complaining about whatever I was complaining about was a bad thing to do at that time, then drop a comment. But uh, no matter what, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Good night, everyone.